Hello guys, welcome to a new week. It is Sunday, it is beautiful outside. As you can tell, the sun is shining. Wolfie and I are getting ready to go to Copper Box Arena in Stratford to go see Sam play in the All-Star game. I'm so proud of him. He was selected as an All-Star. An honor to be a part of it. And I got Sam on my shirt. I've had this shirt since he was with the Houston Rockets. And luckily, they also wear red. Ooh, that light is strong now. They also wear red and he's still number seven. So the shirt still works. Can't believe I've held on to it with all the moves we've had. Hi. And look at your nice outfit. He is wearing his Zara sweatsuit that has his name on it and a little basketball. So we are going to get going. I want to show you my whole look because I think it's pretty cute. I'm wearing these new jeans from Zara, which are so not me. I've never owned jeans like this. Like they're kind of a traditional boot cut but I love them with this tiny little kitten heel. These are Dior Slingbacks in the like fabric. They also have it in patent leather, but I got the fabric ones. I love them so much. I'm tempted to get, I'm tempted to get them in black. I'm tempted to get them in the nude patent leather. I just love them. They also have a taller heel option. So this is the short one. It's almost a flat. I just have an oversized black blazer from Reserved. Um, could use an iron, honestly, but don't have time. Not a very me outfit, but it could be. Could be the new me. Cool mom me. How was your birthday? Oh, Hi. Hi, mama. Hi, honey. Here's our all star. Hi, I'm feeding fries. Here's Casey. Woo. Casey, Casey. So we got here at the very end. We got here as the game was ending. Truly, people walking out of the arena, Wolfie and I walking in. There was a West Ham game. We got caught up in it. all kinds of traffic. So, we were playing catch up. You should make it. Oh, you missed it, matching boys. Oh. One more shot, let me go. Kick it. Oh. <laughs> make one shot, let me go home. Oh. 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 <laughs> Gotta make it new. Let's try. Ah. <laughs> Incredibly embarrassing effort. <laughs> hello, hello. Look at this big package that just got here from Holland Cooper. Oh, really? Look at this. I'm so excited to open this. I went pretty crazy on my online shopping of Holland Cooper after Cheltenham. When I went to Cheltenham, I got two pairs of trousers pants. I showed you those ones, even at the train station leaving Cheltenham. And I was in such a hurry because we had to catch our train leaving the racetrack. And Amy and I wanted to get one more glass of champagne in the champagne tent. So I just quickly purchased the two pairs of pants. And I tried on a couple other things. But I was like, oh, I don't have time to like really think. And it's kind of pricey Holland Cooper is. So I didn't want to just impulsively buy and then I can't return because they only have a store in Cheltenham and Bister Village, not in London. So I thought if I'm still thinking about it, I'll order online. Now I kind of know my sizes in the brand. And my only regret was leaving without buying more. So I got online and I got home. I kind of went crazy. Maybe better I did it this way because I asked my mom if she would be willing to sponsor the purchase of the matching coat to go with one of the pants. My mom has such amazing style and these outfits that I got just look like her. So I thought she'd be inspired. And my birthday's coming up in a couple weeks. And I love when that happens because if there's something you want or a place you want to go or a restaurant you want to try or something, you can justify it as my birthday's coming up. Oh yeah, she's so lovely. Let's try her on. Okay, so here are the pants in the camel large print houndstooth. Ignore the shirt. Oh, this feels really tight. Ah, it's too small. It's for sure too small. A six, which is their smallest size. I'm wearing a six in the trouser too. But oh man, I can't close it. Okay, 
That's all right, I'll just order the eight. I swear I tried this on. Now I am wearing a chunky sweater, but I wanna make sure, I mean, it's an expensive coat. I do not wanna limit myself to having it so small. I wanna wear this for a long time. I'll show Sam, cause he's uh, gaming right now. <laughs> I, I told him I'd give him a little fashion show. What do you think? Oh, it's cool. Isn't it? It's too tight. Isn't it pretty? Super cool together. With the pants, yeah. I'm just wearing my sports bra because I don't want to mess with the sweater. These are the pants. I wore them the other night on our date night. These are size six. I've ordered two options. Matching blazers. Now these might look identical to you. They are not. This one is longer with the four buttons. This one is shorter with more of an angled cut and six buttons. So I want to see what I like best with the pants. Okay, here's the long, which I love the shape of. Um, Kind of same problem. I think I got my size wrong in this brand. I think I am a true eight because I ordered all these in a six and they're a touch tight. There's a longer look. The shorter option. Sam likes this one more. Okay, back to the long. I feel like because I'm tall and it's such a busy print, the longer looks better. Yeah, I feel like I'd wear the longer one more with separate pieces, just because I like the length. Oof, I can't decide. Why so my I fly down that whole time? Which brings me to footwear, because I was also very inspired at Cheltenham by the Fairfax and Favor shopping tent. But these boots, when I got back, were on sale, and I just had to get these. They look so nice on, too. I just sprayed them last night and let them sit on the balcony. I'm going to baby these. Look at the nice orange leather inside. Much cheaper, like 99 pounds at Dune. I think, yeah, I actually wore these to Cheltenham. I love these, so I sprayed these down too. Okay, good little try-on session. Have to get to returning those and exchanging for different sizes. And now I'm off to my personal training session. Once a week, I do with my friend Hella, who lives in a building over. We both have little babies. I guess mine's not so little anymore. So our trainer is very focused on like the new mom workout, all about like strengthening core. I really like them. So I'll try to put some of that footage in here too. We're having our breakfast outside today. Isn't that nice, Wolfie? It is so sunny and beautiful out today. I'm having three eggs scrambled with a ton of butter and half an avocado. Wolfie is having the other half of the avocado on half of a fresh bagel from the bakery downstairs. Beautiful out, right? <laughs> Avocado toast. Avocado toast. Mmm, big bite. So today, Wolfie and I are gonna head into Canary Wharf, which is the next little village over. Um, it's actually where we lived last year when he was a baby, because Sam needs to have his dress shoes fixed. So I have to go to the cobbler. <laughs> Who are we? <laughs> because we have a very fancy event tonight. And I'm so excited. I got my spray tan yesterday. My girl Malika came to do it at the house, which is so lovely. I would love to film that, but I'm stark naked in it, so I can't. I just, I've tried to think of ways to get a different angle. Nah, it is what it is. That's it when I'm on the ground. That's nice. That's nice. Good. So I'm really excited for tonight. Um, also kind of built in date night for Sam and I, right before the playoffs start next week. So today is Thursday, our event is tonight in Soho. It's a movie premiere of Ghostbusters. So we're gonna walk the red carpet. Um, I think some of the cast will be there, which is very exciting. I know Paul Rudd's in it, Bill Murray. I don't know too many of the other names. Fun to get to go to these events when we live. There it is. When we, when we live in such a city that's so happening. So much happens here, and movie premieres are always happening here, and I've, I'm excited to go to my second since we've been here. Okay, I'm also laughing, reflecting back on the last time Sam and I had an event, and we were like scrambling to get ready. If you watched the vlog a year ago, last spring, we had about seven days to get ready for a black tie event. And Sam didn't have a tux here. We just didn't think our time in London would include a black tie event. <laughs> Silly us. Now I feel like we're very equipped and aware 
that our time here will include events. So we had about seven days to get ready for a black tie event and we called Sam's mom like, quick, can you overnight ship the Sam's tux? Cause you know, a girl can go get a dress. A guy can't just go get a tux, especially when he's six foot nine. And it got here in time, but it got held up in customs. So Sam had to go rent a tux and it didn't really fit, but he looked great. Okay, here's the next problem. A tux shoe, he wears a size 14. So we were like, there's no way we cannot get a tux shoe in the right amount of time. Truly, we thought, well, you can't really go. <laughs> I don't know what else we are gonna do, because it was black tie. It was the Sport Industry Awards, which was a really nice event. Lobby of our building, we see a really tall man walk by, and we look down at his feet, and we're like, excuse me, sir, what size shoe do you wear? <laughs> Sam's exact shoe size, and we're like, do you have a tuck shoe here? And he did, and he let Sam borrow his tux shoes. I feel like we've come a long way since then. We've been here another year since then. But that story always makes me laugh. The whole movie tonight, I would be watching these games. How? Super kiddies. Super kiddies. Like, what you think? Canapes. My only like getting ready note, something I've observed, and just because I endorse it so much, I feel like I need to say this PSA. The head of Beauty Baking Powder, which I adore and have on right now, and it's like baking as we speak, goes horribly wrong if you try to do any makeup over it. Like if you think you've baked whatever, but then you want to patch up a spot with concealer, it makes the consistency of your skin so weird. It, you look like a reptile, like it becomes really spotty. So I've learned that the hard way. I've had to start over a full face of makeup from scratch so just don't do it. And I kind of almost did it tonight, but I think I salvaged it. I tried new retinol this week and it made me a little bit dry and kind of peely. And then I got a spray tan. So my, my skin wasn't great to begin with tonight. Um, and then I've spent a lot of time trying to even things out. And then now I've got the stuff baking. Before we go, I'll powder it off real quick. But do not put makeup on over your baking powder. That has got to be the last step. You're welcome. Okay, now I just can't decide, do I keep my hair down or do I do more of a sleek pony? I always feel like hair down looks, um, what's the word, like a, like it's an easy way out, if that makes sense. But I feel like a sleek ponytail looks more sophisticated and chic. What do you think, hun? Hair down or up? Uh, what were you feeling? Well, I always feel secure in a ponytail, kind of falling nicely, maybe I keep it down. Stand by. Sam is literally only here for the light bites. They've been so good. They've had chicken sliders. They've this had is amazing. pumpkin, mozzarella, empanadas. They've had shrimp cocktails. I'm here to see all the beautiful people on the carpet. Well, all I need is the beautiful person behind the camera. <laughs> I got hair, I got hairs. <laughs> I'm here for the champagne and the celeb society and Sam is here for the light bites. Mister, we have to sit in the back row because I'm too tall. Too tall. We're third row last weekend. We could have sat up there. I know, but we were in the West End third row last week and I was like <laughs> obstructing these two short girls behind us, so. Funny story, about 10 years ago, almost to the day, we, uh, our basketball team had a private screening at Warner Brothers Studios 
of the Entourage movie with the cast of Entourage and your buddy Jerry. Jerry Ferrara. Uh -huh. And the whole cast was with us and we were one of the first screenings for them as well. We had to put our phones in a lockbox, <laughs> sign an NDA, and we had a very small theater in, in Hollywood. Uh, just our team and them. Almost ten years to the almost ten years to the day from Wow today. in LA. You were there for what sweet sixteen? Yep. It was the week we played uh, North Carolina, so I like a Tuesday night, Wednesday night. Jerry Ferrara played Turtle on Entourage, mm -hmm. and filling in the gaps. Came to our and practice then Jim at and U I did a podcast for BetMGM together the last couple years. And then he came to our practice at USC and said, "Hey, we're doing a, <laughs> a kind of they were doing like a watch party for their cast, and they said we'd love you for you come." And That's very intimate so cool. theater, and it's Jerry's the than biggest this. basketball fan uh -huh. too. Really cool. Spinwolf Hard, who plays Trevor Spinwolf. And I'd like to call up the man, the legend, Ernie Hudson. Here in London with this film. A um, little bit of trivia. This movie takes place in New York, but was filmed not too far from here in uh, the outskirts of Reading. Uh, and um, so it's got some, um, some, some true British roots running through. Like, it's really cool to be a part of some of like this kind of franchise because it starts with obviously with Ernie in 1984 and Ivan Reitman, and you know if any of this movie works, it's because of Gil's great direction and and Ernie for starting it. So I want to thank you both so much for letting us be a part of it. Good size sandwich. Good size for you. What can you say? It's like big. Good to know. Little post movie. Neil? So good. Oh, so good. I love a bird on. Yes, you do. Hello, hello. It's been a minute. Last time I checked in on the vlog was the premiere. So this is quite a contrast. Right now I've got Sam out of town. He's in Paris. More on that later. Wolfie's down. I am putting together his Easter basket. Wrong side. His Easter basket. I ordered this on Amazon. I wanted to link this. It was inexpensive, came super quick and personalized. I didn't know Amazon had anything like that. Help pack it with me, yeah? It's a classic. It was last year. Big dino stage right now. So this is dino eggs. Just to use our cute Selfridges hamper and do like a mega basket. Just wanting to get all of this ready because this week is so busy, we are going to Paris. I mentioned Sam's already there. They left this morning. I leave first thing tomorrow. I'm not bringing Wolfie, because that would be not fun. It just wouldn't be. By the way, I ordered all of these bubbles, all of these, on Amazon for life. No money at all, so I'll link that as well. So another thing I have to do today is set up the air mattress, because our babysitter, who we love, been with us all year, she's gonna stay overnight with Wolfie. I'm gonna slip out at 5 a.m., head to the train station, take the train by myself to Paris, meet my friends Amy and Casey, who you know, all day in Paris, game tomorrow night. Oh, I'm just so excited. This trip I've been looking so forward to. The second I saw Paris was an option as an opponent in the playoffs, say my prayers, they've been answered. God must love croissants. I also love taking the train, and I don't mind going alone. I think it's kind of like special and romantic. I'm gonna bring a book. It's a best of three playoff series, Paris versus London. There's a, already a huge rivalry that's been building between these two. So I've already sent the clothes I'm wearing with Sam too, because they went with the team today. And I was like, I'd love to get on that train with just a purse. That also feels very chic. Fun fact, I studied abroad in Paris when I was in college. So the city always holds a special place in my heart. That's all for now. I'm just doing boring, getting ready stuff today. And then tomorrow all the fun begins. So next time you see me, I'll be the girl on the train. Au revoir. Good morning. It's Paris morning. It's 5 a.m. My babysitter just got here. We are all ready to go. Like I said, Sam is bringing the rest of my stuff. So I just have two little bags. Can we?
just got to the hotel room and this is Sam's hotel room. So he got here last night and you guys, I'm dying. He hung up my nighty <laughs> and he hung up my clothes. Isn't that so nice? Look, he even folded some of my things. Oh, I love this man. Little packing hack. So yes, I am specific about wearing black gloves today and brown gloves tomorrow. So was able to do this bow with the corresponding watch because tomorrow I'm doing more browns and earrings. The outfit is kind of compartmentalized. And my belt, well done, Sammy. New jacket from Holland Cooper. By the way, I did decide on the shorter one with more buttons. After much deliberation, that was the winner. Please look, a really nice vest. It has a matching short, but I'm doing it with all black velvet Spanx leggings. Turtleneck is Zara. Wearing this vintage Chanel necklace um, from Rod and Rebellious. I got these vintage Chanel earrings here in Paris years ago at this really cool vintage store that only does authenticated Chanel pieces. So if we had more time, I'd go today, but it's like these are one of my favorite purchases. So definitely leaning into French Chanel pearl girly vibes. <laughs> <laughs> Are you happy to be in Paris? We oui. <laughs> the first class. We gotta get a celebratory cure royale. We found the cutest little spot. And we're still waiting. We're gonna go to Cafe de Flor. Yes. This will get us nice and lubricated. <laughs> Is that the wrong word? <laughs> Like, throw out some stores, you know. Zara. No. Definitely not Zara. It's, just... it's giving oh, Gucci. Thank you so much. Give it a handle. Smell it. Just, like, give it a smell. <laughs> oh. And open it. Smell in there. Oh. Like nice leather. She <laughs> smells like expensive. Good leather. I got this bag of waitress. No, you didn't. <laughs> it's real leather as well. <laughs> It's a handle. Also, look at the name of the brand. I think it's made yeah. up. Elizabeth James. Oh, it's Elizabeth James. It's 100% from China. <laughs> I just try to think of some. Genuine leather made in Italy. Italy's finest, that's why. She was made in Italy. But no, doesn't it look just like my Gucci bags? And the handle, I kid you not, like today, when Amy met me at the train station, I had both my real Gucci bag and this. And it's not even supposed to be a Gucci bag, it's just a nice leather bag. Same exact bamboo handle, I swear. It's probably made in the same factory. Anyways, I love it. And I got it because it matches Elizabeth Jane. Isn't that the mom's name in Fair Trap? Elizabeth Jane. You're the Elizabeth James. I think my new favorite bag. It was 100 pounds, it was 120, and I talked her down to 100. In Waitrose, you could do that? How? I don't know. <laughs> but Sam was so mad at me, he was checking out, buying like our son food for survival. Must and I'm this. like, oh, that's nice. <laughs> Give me that. Boy, was this a lucky find or what? I just checked the on like the cutest little tea house. It's an all Sparkling water, a Chardonnay, and a nice tea. Do we have what, a couple cinnamon rolls on the way? Yes, we do. Yes, we do. We will always have Paris. Oh, look at you too. Magic. The men are sweating. You're so cute. Wait for it, wait for it, boom. We were just walking along knowing we were close to the Eiffel Tower. I like, Casey. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. <laughs> and we come upon this street, which I know I've seen on Instagram a million times, and now I know why. We 
just took some cute pics. What do you say, girls? It's still pouring rain. What do we want to do next? You want to get a little closer? Yeah, look how pretty the girls look. This is Casey's first trip to Paris. Yeah. What do you think? I mean, it's a rainy, nasty day, but... We've ate a lot of good food. Yeah. We've walked. We've walked, even in your not comfortable <laughs> wet. No, they're not. No, they're not. But it is lovely. Paris in the rain. That's not to like... Into the coziest little... Very nice, having a quick little drink, santé. Is everyone drying off? Drying off, warming up. Drying off, and we're leaving what, in like five minutes? And you didn't get your toasty? She keeps going to croque monsieur toasty. <laughs> Tomorrow. It's my apple spritz is very unseasonal. I feel like this is like a sunny day, Saint Tropez. Yeah. It just sounded good, and I just wanted something with a lot of like girth. Even have to take the hat off, but oh lord, got a pimple, kind of wavy wet hair. I've got to lean into my game outfit look now. I'm trying to think how else I can refresh in this look. Yeah. When did she join us? At yeah, dinner. we got a little bit of salt and pepper if we <laughs> want to sprinkle that. Mm. Oh, basketball, oh, basketball game. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 We love it. <laughs> Number one, one fan. Almost ready. Day two in Paris of two, barely two. Um, just doing the final touches. My curling iron doesn't work here because I didn't bring an EU adapter. My bad. So my hair look isn't exactly what I was going for. But I'm dying to use this bow because it matches so perfectly. Anyway, so last night we lost. <laughs> is the short end of it and that really sucks because it's a best of three series as I've explained so we have another chance if Paris wins Friday night in London then the series is over obviously because they would have taken the first two so we just need to win Friday in London we'll head back to London today the guys will get back on it and that'll be that but yeah it was a really tough loss Paris has won 14 straight games they are the team to beat. Um, they smoked us. Sam played really well and is healthy, which is the most important thing. Feels good. Um, but yeah, it sucks because if we lose this, if we lose Friday night, then we're done in Euro Cup for the season. And we would still play BBL games, British Basketball League games, not Brazilian butt lift. Season wouldn't be done. 
but the European competition part of the season would be done, which is the biggest part. So it would be a big downer for sure. Um, but we had such a great day yesterday as girls. We had so much fun at the game. The atmosphere was wild. I felt like my nerves flooding. Like I was, my body felt like a shock. <laughs> it's not weird. So I'm about to meet Amy and Casey downstairs. And um, the guys already left early this morning, so I had to get up when Sam did at 7 a.m. We went to bed at 1. I got no sleep the night before. Four hours of sleep the night before. Oy. Running on fumes and a prayer and a lot of wine. You know, I actually feel really good today. It's going to hit me when I get home. I'm going to be so depleted. So that's our day today. We are going to go see a little bit more of Paris. Like I mentioned yesterday, it's Casey's first trip to Paris, so we've got to hit all the big things. So today we're doing Louvre. Notre Dame, Saint Germain de Pre yesterday. I want to walk, walk down Saint Honoré today, which is the most beautiful street. I think Rue Saint Honoré, if I'm saying that right. My French isn't great. Stayed there a couple times at hotels like the Sofitel, La Fourbourg is my favorite hotel in Paris. I've never stayed at the Ritz Paris because it's so fancy. A very luxe, amazing hotel in Paris. Stay at Sofitel, La Fourbourg because the street it's on is. Little flats from Dune, comfy. My new Zara jeans I wore to the game the other night that is like the new me, new cool me. You know I love doing a jacket over shoulders. It's like cute, I'm in Paris. What? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh. Okay girls, what do you get for breakfast? Cappuccino. Cappuccino, some croissants, some juice. I got <laughs> this, the large coupe. And the guy said, Happy birthday, in fact, I'm gonna insert that video in right here because that was pretty good. Casey just took that. It's almost my birthday. So cheers to day two. Day two of two. Beautiful man, last time I was here, there were not people out. I think it was closed last time I was here, and that's why people weren't in a line to go in. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, but it is lovely, and the sun is coming out. It's a beautiful day. We just got some fire pics. This is a cute little cafe we've been to before. Cafe Bali. We don't think we have time. We have to leave the quickest 24 hours. Our final stop. Casey wants to bring a bread. Uh, I was gonna say, oh, baguette. Look at this one. Look at this. Yeah, that's a nice looking one. Your only souvenirs. This is the only thing you're bringing back. Yeah. 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 So you know your girl went to duty free. Sam never lets me stop. So traveling with these two has been a pleasure. Got Sam this for his birthday because we're doing a surprise trip and I think I'm gonna, he's not gonna watch this and this is a good litmus test to see if he watches my vlog. I'm gonna wrap this up because the smell is Jazz Club. Brooklyn 2013 is where it's from because you know Brooklyn fragrances are the best. Uh, but it, oh, it just smells like, like cigars and whiskey and like it's so sexy, it's so masculine. Sam will smell so nice in this. So I'm gonna wrap this up with cigars and like a pamphlet of where we're going. Where does one get a pamphlet? It's for Sam. This is a restock. Best stuff in the planet. The Centella cream. They make it so tiny though. That's the only downside. We're boring. I've been talking about this for ever. This is the biggest size they make in this stuff. I need like a vat of that. Is that Sam me? Carter Borean? I haven't. You haven't? I haven't. I was tempted to get that BB cream. I know. Okay, the BB cream. The best. In the summer, I'm color Doré. But most of the year, I'm the <laughs> so just nude. The palest of them all. No, they've actually two shades paler than this. Um, so it makes a girl feel good about herself. Baby skin effect. It's like blurring. It makes your skin look so nice. I'm trying this um, because I love La Roche Posay. I know you can get this at Boots in the UK, but if it's a little cheaper here, I thought might as well. This is a nice size. 
You like La Roche Posay, don't you? Yeah, that's a very big what size. What do you, yeah, it's huge. I can't remember if it was in a white. I'm the worst person to ask. It may have been like a, a soft little cream. It was an eye cream. It's in a little white tube, skinny, yeah. thin. Eye I've cream. always been told don't spend a lot of money on your cleanser. Um, don't like spend your money on skincare and stuff that stays on your face. But not so why. much on your cleanser. <laughs> I am trying out the Elizabeth me. Arden Ceramide Capsules because Lydia Millen, who's my favorite vlogger in the world, um, she reposted my story the other day, by the way, because I'm reading her book and I posted it on the train. Anyway, so that was a highlight of life. Elizabeth, Elizabeth Arden? Yeah. yeah. Elizabeth's. <laughs> um, she reposted you? Yeah. Did I tell you that, Lydia Millen? Yeah. Big day. Big day. But I know she uses these because she is sponsored and works with Elizabeth Arden, but... I do think I want to try this, and this is all three, the retinol, the advanced, and the hy hyaluronic acid. So, a good little haul, Stunning. all in all. And I'll keep you posted if Sam's like, oh, so you got me a cologne. Then I'll know he watched the <laughs> vlog. That's my haul. What do you say, more champagne? Let's see. What, just for the flight home, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> I just need a straw now, and then I'm and then we're good. Okay, so we are back from Paris. Yesterday we just kind of hibernated in. We have been relaxing and enjoying some quiet, but tonight is game two. And I'm gonna leave you on a hanger. This is where this vlog ends. And it's gonna pick up right after this, because I'm bringing my camera tonight. So the next vlog will begin with game two, Paris at London, the rematch. You know this is a big one because if London loses, the Euro Cup season's over. So we're a bit nervous. I'm sitting courtside tonight, I just found out. I'm going to get some drinks with the girls beforehand. So overall, it's been a great week. Um, Easter this weekend, everything is coming up in the new vlog to kick off April. So thanks for watching and make sure you subscribe.